G'day everyone. This year I thought I might grow some North American and picture plant flowers. And look how beautiful they are. You know, I don't normally grow the flowers because they do sap energy out of your plants. And uh, But this year I thought I might grow them to see, to see whether I can do some cross-pollinating. That's where you get pollen from one flower and you transfer it to a genetically different flower in the hope you'll get some seeds. And normally what I do, I, as soon as the flowers come up, I cut them off and I allow my plants to grow in their pots and when they get too big, I divide them. That's how I normally do it. But this year, as I said, I thought I might do something different. Do, uh, it's the first time I've done this, do a bit of experimenting and uh, have a bit of fun along the way. And hopefully, if you're thinking about propagating pitcher plants, North American pitcher plants from seeds, hopefully this video will give you a few tips, a few ideas on how to actually cross-pollinate them. So, let's have a closer look. Okay, so these Saracenia flowers rely on insects such as bumblebees to pollinate the flowers. So what happens is the bee will land on the top part of the flower. These are the sepals, acts like a landing platform. And then the bee will then try to crawl into the flower to get access to the pollen. Now where's the pollen located? The pollen is located on the top part of this style that's called the style that's the female part of the flower and I'll show you where the pollen is later on so what's the easiest way for the bee to crawl into the flower well it's through the gaps here of the sepals see how it's slightly up elevated that's how they crawl into the flower and as the bee crawls into the flower it brushes past the stigmas and the stigmas are these hook parts see that hook over there that's the stigma or the it's part of the female part of the flower and the stigma needs to receive pollen for the flower to pollinate and there are five of these stigmas all around the flower so once the insect or the bumblebee goes into the uh, flower it then and I'll lift up one of these petals show you what I mean it then crawls around on the inside there and that's where all the pollen is and those structures over here they're the stamens and that's the male part of the flower that contains all the pollen pollen lands on the bottom part of the style which uh, attracts the bees and once the bees are finished uh, collecting the pollen they crawl out from underneath the petal through this part over here See, there's a bit of a gap here. So the one-way entry and exit point avoids the flower from pollinating itself with its own pollen and encourages cross-pollination in the process.